So at first I thought they needed a trash bag, but they needed this cat litter thing. At first I was just gonna get like a basket. Good thing I switched to carts. Okay. It says it's not it, organic banana. It's me, John, from Journey Ride Along channel. So I will be taking you along with me delivering food with Uber Eats and DoorDash today. It's Friday, September 8th, 2023. It's a Friday. And I started around uh, a little before 3.30, maybe like 3.10. So I came here to fill up my tank with Costco because it's kind of like the cheapest gas out here. So I just fill it up all the way. So from food delivery, maybe around like two, like three days on the third day, I'll fill it up again. So this is my new method now. I used to fill like every day a little bit, like, you know, like 20 every day just to know how much I'm spending. My first order was to going to take me to downtown LA. It was $15 for Panera Bread, 11.5 miles. I declined it. And then I have a DoorDash schedule at 5 to 8 p.m. So let's see how we do dinner shifts on the Friday and I'll update you once I have an order. Okay guys, so not long after I got an order, $8.09, four items, 2.1 miles to come to Target. Okay, let's see what they need. They need uh, some snacks, tortilla, organic bananas, I like how the fall things are are now. Okay, let's go find protein bars. Okay, I think we might have the first one here. Okay, they need organic bananas. Where can I um? That is not it. Organic banana. So I had to manually put the other brand of the bananas. So at first I thought they needed a trash bag, but they needed this cat litter thing. At first I was just gonna get like a basket. Good thing I switched to carts. Okay, we should be done right now. Alrighty, that was delivered, but it's straight down and then that kitty litter was so heavy. Okay, so I went to Rite Aid, but I didn't bring my camera and um, there's a new request for a $7, another antigen tester, um, two miles, $7. I don't know if the rooms are this way because I see the garage on the other side. I don't even see the... Oh. Okay, should be more down. Oh, here it is. Okay, so now I did take a DoorDash order finally because we were a little bit out of the zone that I scheduled for the dinner shift. But now it's a place called like Crispy Rice. They said it's inside of the TGI Friday. It's a $17.25, 7.3 miles though. So that, that probably would come out to 14 because it's like round trip. But it is um, almost gonna get dark and if I don't take it. And so, so I just, let's see. What is Crispy Rice? Wow, they're inside here. Rachel W. Rachel? It's for crispy rice. Yeah, crispy oh, okay. Rice. Yeah, thank That's you. Okay. <laughs> oh, so they're both TJI and crispy rice. Hmm. 
Rachel? Thank you. You too, thanks. All right, so. I guess they are very nice because they told me to leave it at the front desk and have a nice day, stay safe and all that. And that was quite of a drive and I'm okay, I think this is a facility or something like, I don't know, like a sure if that's a different building and this is a different building. Hi, is this 245, the building? What's um, The building is 245? I'm not sure. You don't know the address here? Do you have the toilet or something? Yeah. For Rachel? Is this the front desk? Yes, this is the front desk. Okay. Is your last name? Okay. You don't need no signature, right? Uh, no. She just said leave at the front desk. Okay, I'll call her right now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay guys, I turned on Uber Eats on the way back and then I was hoping there would be like a order along the way but actually that drive was 7.3 there and back because um, I wouldn't be in the zone I was scheduled. I was thinking like should I just do o Uber Eats only in that area but then I wasn't familiar with that area and thought like it's quite busy in this area usually. Okay, I got, oh my god, two, wait it's two pickups though, Uber Eats, wait, oh no! Oh my god, okay, I'll do this. Okay guys, so I delivered that $13 offer for two drop-offs. It was from Dave's Chicken and Ono Hawaiian. So the first one I dropped off, Ono Hawaiian, the customer came right to the car window and he actually gave me $4 tips. So actually that $13 offer would come out to $17. Much easier, like you know, just um, very close by to the restaurant pickup all together like five-ish miles better than that $17 where we went off seven miles had to come seven miles back yeah customers who come to the windows of your car and stuff makes it so much easier but then I understand I guess he knew he was like a further back house and there were no street parking so super convenient so that last trip we will have to wait until it becomes $13 because of the tips I guess it all the tips from the Dave's chicken household and then that was dropped off so after today plus this cash tips and everything I would only be making $49 based on my my um, mileage tracker though we've been out for three hours and eight minutes 30.4 miles driven and um, so if I just divide 49 by 3, that's like around $16 an hour. I think that would be it, you guys. Just a quick delivery on Friday shift. Each order, there were some gaps in between. Like it wasn't back to back like some days where I drop off, there's a new order. And just like more busier and like consecutive. Like the ones where it gives you high pay but it makes you like drive a little bit out, that one 
kind of takes the time of the day a little bit but you know when you see a high offer it's like if it's not like 20 miles or like 10 miles or something like it's and it's still reasonable so sometimes I decline it sometimes I take them because like you know it's already late so $17 seven miles you know but then I know the drive back if at least I got an order coming on the way back it would be great but I didn't so that's it you guys um hopefully more entertainment on other videos and thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video please hit like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next video see ya